Here we are, Andrew and I. It's 2.30 outside of the Longhorn, and we're uh, at the bottom of Whistler Mountain, about to go try the ultimate spearhead traverse for the fourth time in my life. <sighs> Settle into a good rhythm. The first time I did the spearhead was in 2001. We took three days, and really, we didn't have the knowledge or the skill to climb anything. We just managed to get around it. But what I saw kind of tickled my fancy and showed me the untapped potential out there. I always wondered, what if? What could I do out there? The Spirit Traverse is unique because it's this horseshoe of mountains that connects Blackcomb Mountain and Whistler Mountain. Most people take the chairlift up to the Alpine, and then they ski tour around the horseshoe going through the low passes, and this can easily be done in a day. What I'd like to do is I want to start in the valley, and I want to climb all 20 summits along the traverse in a single push. For me, the ultimate day of the Spearhead, it's never been done, but yet it's so possible. The glory moment when you're here, and then all of a sudden, ah, oh, yeah! I've tried this challenge three times before. There's just so many things that have to fall into place to make the ultimate spearhead happen. Fitness, weather, stability, good snow for skiing the north faces, and then you just have to have the energy and a partner to pull it off properly. This time I brought Andrew McNabb along because he's a great friend and he knows how to suffer. Good, I mean, I'm tired, obviously. We've come really far. We've come 22 kilometers and 2,500 meters. And uh, we've gone through all sorts of conditions and we're worried about everything, but every once in a while, things look good. This year, I gave myself the whole month of April to go to Whistler and try this. Finally, there was a small weather window. We didn't know how much it snowed. We didn't know what we were gonna encounter, but we thought if we got out there, it might be better than we think. For me, the Spirit is really important because it's where I really started ski touring. I had multiple different records there, and it's just this, it's just this place I go to show myself where I'm at and to see how far I can push myself. Just breathing and believing. I'm 46, and at some point I won't be able to do these challenges, but what I enjoy is pushing myself. So sure, I'm not gonna be as fast as I was years ago, but I can still kind of figure out what my potential is, even though it's not the potential I used to have. Got a bit of a whiteout happening. It did show this on the satellite imagery, and it showed that it went away also. And if we can kind of keep moving forward for like three hours through them, then they'll be gone. I said that before. <laughs> Over the course of my ski mountaineering career, I've set lots of challenges. I climbed and skied two million feet in a year. I've climbed and skied 50,000 feet in a day. I've set all these challenges and I've accomplished them, yet the spearhead is this one I keep going back to because I've yet to unlock it and make it really happen. Oh my God. That was epic, look at that thing. <laughs> Huge. Never skied it. That's so fun. Yeah, it's been an exceptional day, but there's been lots of challenges. It hasn't been smooth as it could have been, or we dreamed that it would be. We saw some avalanches triggered off some slopes that were near where we wanted to go up. So we had to change plans and come way down the valley. At that point, under Fitzsimmons, it was obvious that we weren't going to have the ultimate spearhead day, but yet, we were lined up for more summits than we'd ever done, so the goal became to see how many more summits we could do. Just hanging out. Pretty exhausted. But we've done a pretty neat day. Andrew's wondering why, as he hikes up there. Why are we doing this? Another summit. Woo! Yeah, nice work, Greg. Gosh! Summit number 12! What are we at here? 5,000 meters, 42 kilometers, and it's 6.30. <gasps> 15 hours in. We've come a long way today. Have we ever? Start over there. Oh, 
Oh my god. Woo, got really compact back there. And then up, back into the clouds, and then hey, here he goes now. I spend years dreaming about the idea, so that kind of builds the desire, so that when we're out there, I've got this internal drive. Part of you is like, let's not do this. But for years, I've developed that dream, I've developed that desire, and I want it. So I get out there, and I'm like, OK, I want this, I want this, I want this. Even though a lot of me is like, just stop. I still want to just keep pushing and just maybe realizing it and getting as close to that ultimate day as we could. Lots of deep digging today. My inner coach was barking at me, yelling at me, calling me names. At the end of the day, we didn't do the 20 summits, but we climbed and summited 15 summits, which I've never done. It was 19 hours of activity, 60 kilometers of travel, and 5,600 meters of up and down. It was a fantastic day. It wasn't the ultimate dream, but it was pretty close. Pretty excited about it regardless. It was a really hard day from the get-go, but we kept persevering. <laughs> I'm definitely not done with it. It's, it's hilarious, because I should be, but I keep kind of thinking maybe I learned a little bit last year that there's another way to do this more efficiently and that I probably could pull it off. I've just really got to nail the weather, nail the conditions, and hopefully get it done before I die of old age.